All right, wasting some time here with a replay sent in by Floating Firebat in the uh, Tier 10 German Battleship, the Cutter First. Uh, I'm probably not pronouncing that right. That's okay. I promise you it'll be all right. <laughs> Anyways, we are on uh, Bastion mode on the Atlantic. Uh, tier 10 battle, obviously. And Eyeball on Omogami. Man. Only at the Bismarck myself, uh, but let's see what uh, Floating Fireback can do in this ship. Uh, just to warn you, funny enough, keep this in mind, uh, Floating Firebat, he called this uh, a decent game. <laughs> and secondary is shooting at the Benston, one of the good things about the German battleships. Uh, at the Bismarck myself, and I'm, I'm having fun with it. It's a nice, fun ship. Gami did not learn his lesson. Did uh, actually a replay that uh, Floating Firebat sent in uh, last year. I believe it was in a Russian battle, uh, a Russian destroyer. Shots out. 26 seconds on the reload, I think it is. I don't recall if that is the uh, 420s or the. 406. Okay, I think these are the 420s. That was 28 seconds. This seconds is. Oh my goodness. Talking in words. Probably not the best right now. <laughs> Decent amount of damage so far. Uh, 10 hits. Uh, 24,000 damage. Enemy Montana is in secondary range and broadside. That is. Uh, that's just silly. Look at those shells out. <laughs> what, is, what is he doing? He's lucky there. Look at those secondaries just raining down. I think uh, I do think the German battleships are the funnest battleships at the moment, just because it does feel uh, really fun to get in there and just brawl with a whole bunch of people. Bit of a glitch on that uh, fire burn time there; it's not actually giving us the uh, time that the fire is going for. And Firebat is going to uh, target his doppelganger there. Thirteen thousand damage. Uh, that is the weakness of the uh, German battleships. Uh, they're fairly well armored everywhere, uh, so battleships will be able to pin you and get penetration damage. Not so much on the uh, <laughs> citadels, but sometimes it adds up into nice big uh, swaths of damage like that. The Kerberos does have 105,000 hit points, so. Uh, Definitely not the end of the world here, especially if a lot of it is fire damage. 9,600 off that Baltimore, and, <laughs> and just a little bit extra just to top it off. Nicely done, up to 93,000 damage so far, taking a lot of HE spam. Enemy Amagi, that is uh, kind of what you want to see. A lot of HE spam from that Mogami, two fires. And a floating fire bat does uh, use his heal here. That could have been really bad if he was being targeted by the carrier, but he's not. And look at this Mogami, still broadside. He was going after the Yamato, so I kind of get that. Another fire, man. And, <laughs> and goodbye to the Mogami. <laughs> He lasted longer going broadside than you would have thought. And Floating Firebat targeting the Amagi. I'm going to assume this is a full secondary build just because of the range and the accuracy I've seen so far. There's the enemy Tahoe. Tahoe. The tier 9 carrier. It's like a, that may be a swing and a miss there. I don't think he was going as fast as uh, Firebat thought. Is going and the Amagi. There, Amagi can be penetrated a lot by smaller HE uh, shells. So this is not the best uh, place for him to be. Floating Firebat's trying to get his health back here. Down to 45. Pretty low shots out on the enemy Amagi. Enemy Amagi is looking at him too, but goodness. Looks like. Uh, 
Nice, 14,000 damage. Gonna hopefully get the kill. No, didn't get the kill. Got a lot of damage into the uh, kind of mog. It kind of looks like. These are the engagements you want when you're in a tier 10 battleship. Tier 8 battleships, yes, please, thank you. Uh, especially ones that just took a torpedoing. That's also, that's just bonus points right there. And a Citadel, 18,000 damage. <laughs> uh. 159,000 damage. You know, I really, I've been, the Bismarck has been the highest damaging, uh, I've had my highest average damage for a battleship in it. I feel like the secondaries really do add up to that extra 10, 20,000 damage. Enemy fighters coming in for whatever reason. I don't know why they're flying over uh, floating fire, but you can see he's going to get another heal up here in a minute or a few seconds. And he is launching uh, a plane to try to stop those torpedo bombers, but they're going after the Yamato. They can kill that Yamato probably if he uh, has a good drop. See how the carrier does. Not so great. Looks like it's going to be like three. The forts on Bastion mode. Oh my goodness! Can we all agree we hate these things? <laughs> yes, who, who likes this? That Amagi is. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. I think he's going for the Yamato. It looks like. Kager really doesn't like uh, that Yamato player. 6,000 damage, not enough to finish it, but I uh, think Floating Firebat is definitely going to get his money's worth with having, uh, I'm assuming, superintendent on this captain. <laughs> with all the HE spam you get in 6.0 uh, against all the battleships. And, I, you know, I appreciate that. You have an enemy with 706 health. <laughs> It's not fire just two, you know, one gun, two guns. It's fire all the guns. Because uh, overkill is underrated, and you might as well just go for it. Enemy Bismarck is closing in, almost within secondary range. There it is. And he's probably going to die pretty quick. He is chasing an enemy battleship. That's uh, chasing an enemy battleship into another enemy battleship is probably always a bad strategy. And there we go. Nice high shots up into the uh, upper armor of the Bismarck. That will get you the nice penetrations. And Boggy is bouncing a decent amount off of that uh, Bismarck, but I think there's the secondary's kill. Enemy Benson is uh, Close enough to take some pop shots at, and secondaries on that thing too. There they are. Turn away. You know, it really seems like the tier 10 getting the 12 guns is a fairly uh, swing and a miss there. Uh, fairly big buff. Looks like he is trying to torpedo that Moggy, but uh, looks like he's going to miss. Run away, Vincent. This is one of the more annoying things. It's not really even that effective. Uh, long range fire, well, secondary fire on a destroyer, but it's annoying enough that people will <laughs> run away. Which I appreciate. 175,000 damage so far. Uh, another Kerr first with uh, 58,000 health up there and uh, full health Otago. Man, brand and brand shiny new Otago to go kill. Not too often it seems like that Bastion mode goes the, this long without uh, a team. Losing, I feel like they're, they're a bit faster because you do not have one team that uh, just completely uh, whiffs uh, actually taking any objectives. <laughs> That's what it really seems like. I'm sure that's probably all just confirmation bias, but you know, hey. Shots out, and there's the nice Citadel. 20,000 damage. Hey. What's up? Okay. What do you need? Okay, I'm I'm making a video, recording stuff. You can't. You could say hi or something. I don't know. 
Anyway, there's my wife. She's uh, still being an adult while I'm being a, uh, a man child, I guess. Shots out on the Otago. High caliber. Let's see if that one shell. Nope. Misses. And 200,000 damage done. Man. Yeah, this is a this is a decent game for floating fire bat. I want to see a good one. <laughs> what is that like? Do you just like the entire enemy team line up and you just kill them all? Shots out on the Otago again. He is maneuvering, which is fairly intelligent. And there it is. Just <laughs> uh, so yeah, Citadel for 2300. Just because overkill is underrated. And friendly Amagi is going to capture uh, the two point, and they just got to sail up and go kill a Kerr first. That's easy. He is nice and broadside. That's one thing. I'm kind of surprised they made the German battleship so powerful, and they keep on saying that they don't want battleships to survive as long. It's kind of. Uh, doesn't make too much sense, but you know, I'm sure. Maybe they're just trying to buff the uh, having have powerful German battleships. So when we have uh, Russian battleships and they're completely crazily overpowered, maybe it'll just be less of a blow. <laughs> There's my theory about that, but you know who knows. Shots out. Looks like they may get the tail end of that guy a little bit, but uh, no nope, swing and a miss there. Four kills, a nice slew of uh, heroic achievements there. Enemy Kerr first says the uh, catapult fighters to double. That's nice. I don't like that skill on battleships anymore because they, they nerfed the time it was up so much. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for 6.1 though. Uh, with the different options for... Nice hit, 17,000 damage. But the different options on uh, being able to buff your uh, consumables <coughs> as far as their operation time, and as far as smoke run time, airplane run time, or uptime for your catapult fighters. I think it's an interesting idea. So we have upgrade modules to uh, change that stuff. Ooh, big hit. 15,000 damage uh, from that curve first. That kind of hurts. One last uh, repair party, and I think uh, for good or bad, uh, Floating Fire Bat is going to get the full use out of that repair party. Assume that's going to be a dreadnought if he lives here. Shots out, 32,000 health left on that curve first. Are they going to hit the mountain, or are they going to go through that gap? A uh, few did both, alright. And the enemy fort. They're up by around 10 points, but they only have uh, one point to the enemy's two. He really needs to kill this uh, battleship. Really narrow opportunity to fire at that guy. We have four minutes left. And the 5,000 damage into Floating fire bat. He did use his heal there, so this is uh, 34,000 is all he's getting. See if the friendly CV can finish off that Kerr first. But, uh, man. Down to the wire on this one, apparently. Looking for a nice big uh, AP volley into that fort. Swing and a miss. Where'd those shots go? Secondary should be able to get uh, nice damage into him. And I don't think uh, the fort can actually hurt uh, Floating Fire Bat unless they start a fire. Pretty sure. And. The AI in this game aims for the belt, which is too thick for it to penetrate. There we go. There's 76,000 damage. That's nice. Enemy battleship is coming back into the engagement. Hopefully, uh... There we go. Suppressed. 
It's kind of disappointing you don't get any damage for that or, you know, anything besides the suppression metal. Or pin, I guess it is. There we go. Friendly dive bomber got, uh, got the enemy curve first there. Yeah, decent question in the comments there. Can the CD bomb bases? I would assume they could, but probably not worth it. And here, this should be the kill. This volley or the next. There it is. <laughs> Kraken Unleashed, 255,000 damage. Nicely done. And we got two minutes for the enemy. Carrier to be killed here. Lung fire but made good use of all of its consumables minus the plane, which is kind of silly because I don't think you could use that many planes in 20 minutes. I don't, I don't, it's not like I don't, you know, you just can't do it. Hmm. Nine planes, I think it was. It's kind of silly. Let's see if they can find this guy. Got the cap. Win is mostly assured unless the enemy. CV kills both of them, which I think is probably going to be very unlikely. Looks like he was going for the cap. I guess he was optimistic about the chances of his uh, <laughs> of his battleship winning that engagement. Shots out, man. You know, I think this is that's probably one of the strengths about the uh, the Montana and the Kerr first. Uh, the sheer volume of fire you can put out. <laughs> It's kind of silly. It's good for engaging uh, cruisers and even destroyers just because your chances of hitting go up significantly. Throw enough crap against the wall, something's going to stick. And if I had to guess, this is probably going to be it. And that's going to be game. There it is. All right. To the end screens. And on the uh, screen, 283,000 damage. Nice slew of uh, metals there. You have, uh, I think, Dreadnought, uh, Confederate, High Caliber, Close Quarters, a Kraken, and a Devastating Strike. Nicely done. <laughs> Seven Citadels. Shot down a few planes, too. I think that guy, yeah, I think he was mostly out of planes. If you look at the amount of planes that are shot down, that's uh, quite a few planes that that enemy carrier lost and floating fire bat is a little over double his next closest teammate there that's uh you know you put on a big backpack to uh carry your team victory sometimes you got to do it nicely done thanks for sending that in uh appreciate that One hundred twenty thousand damage received that's quite a bit of damage man <laughs> and you don't run premium uh, time there floating fire bat my condolences on that and uh Thanks for sending that game in. Hopefully you all enjoyed. See you all in the next one.